Oh. Oh, bro, come and check this out. I'm not going to take this out of the hole. That is freaking awesome. See that tie. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Good morning folks, so as you can see, I'm back at the park, uh, I haven't had Ian join me on a hunt for um, sort of two or three weeks now, so he's actually going to join me today and we're just going to head over and hit this little area over the side, hopefully we uh, pop up some goodies right so i'll get parked up and i'll see you on that first target catch you then okay guys first target we've got a uh, high tone 19 a little bit on the plug cloth little four inch plug and I'm sort of getting right on it now. I'll scoop a bit more out of here and we'll see what we can get, eh? Okay, it's on the cloth. Oh, look at that. It is the target I'm after. That there. It's a silver sixpence. First find of the day. 1934. Excellent start. Alright. Solid 21 next to the tree. Um, probably about 7 inches down. Just popped a nice dollar coin up. Uh, slightly jumpy signal, but um, got solid once I flipped the plug over. Not much of a dig out, but decent five inch plug. And we got a nice uh, 1952 New Zealand one penny. That's cool. Uh, it started off with a um, 17 to 21. Flipped the plug and got a little deeper, went to 23, and we just popped a uh, $2 coin. Nice shallow find. $2. Reasonably shallow find on the way over to Sixpence Alley. Just popped a New Zealand silver, one shilling, 1937. So, about 20 feet from the uh, shilling I just found, just pop this uh, silver sixpence, 1943. Really shallow, right by this tree. Got um, Ian over there swinging by the around that stump. I think he's pulled a couple of pennies so far. And just pulled myself a 1949 New Zealand one penny. So 
I had this hole here I've just, when I started uh, running the coil over it, sort of jumping 2119 high tone. But I'll just show you on the vanquish now that I've turned that plug over. So 9, 10, and it's sort of 11, 12 before. Oh, we'll have a little scratch around and just see. couple of inches or so we'll get this oh oh bro come and check this out I'm not gonna take this out of the hole roots growing out of it it's only about three and a half inches down but I'm not gonna rub this I might get Ian to give that a wash off and we'll see looks like a nice big chunky silver ring but I'll hand that over to Ian and suss that out any stamps in there such uh, it could be hidden I can't see anything where it should be which would be on the inside of that yeah bit of weight bit of weight to it <laughs> shit that's nice <laughs> alright I'll give it a good clean and um, I'll come back to you on that ok this is like I'm buzzing <laughs> Um, obviously I'm going to have to test if these are diamonds, but we've just taken a uh, macro shot with the camera and zoomed in. And it's actually got a perfect little 10k stamp just in this bottom shoulder that you can see. So based on that being 10k and pretty chunky, I'd have to say there's half a carat of diamonds there, if they're diamonds. I'm pretty sure they will be. Right, well, I don't think I'm going to top this trip <laughs> in a hurry. <laughs> um, all right, see you at the breakdown and I'll let you know if they are real. Uh, it's been a long time since I found that ring. Um, I've just pulled a, uh, a nice 1959 New Zealand one penny. Okay, well, I'm just about back at the truck. Ian's got himself a target over there. And, um, yeah, if I find anything between now and then, I'll bring you back in. Otherwise, see you at that breakdown. Okay guys, welcome to the breakdown. So yeah, a bit of trash today. A um, couple of cars there, a bit of can slaw. Quite a few um, screw caps. I'm thinking this is probably a, it's got a bit of wire sticking out, so it's probably a base of a, an old car aerial or something. So good finds. We've got... Um, little groupings of one and twos ended up with five dollars twenty cents of modern clad 20 was a surface find so the older coins we've got the three pennies and the three nice silvers and yeah the find of the day by far we got that uh, Big chunky 10 karat gold, white gold um, ring. Um, 
but yeah, I've put a test on the diamonds. There's um, four rows of eight diamonds, decent sized ones. So I'm guessing sort of half a carat, and they've tested up as as diamonds too. So yeah, absolutely stoked with that find. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, if I don't get another video out before Christmas, um, have a very Merry Christmas and be safe out there. Alright, catch you later.